Thank you, everyone. If I could uh, invite um, Murray Smith. Thank you. Kia ora, welcome. Thank you. Um, thanks for hearing me and uh, apologies. Uh, I didn't realise it was uh, yourself, Madam Mayor, and uh, the full crowd, and I would have printed more than nine copies of my submission. So, no apologies for that. We, we all have them electronically. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I believe the council should be brave enough to increase the rates by the amount required and not fiddle around with user levies here and there. My provisos for this statement are the council needs to make full use of debt funding to improve our infrastructure. And to me, this is more than we've done before. Interest is at all time low, and I believe debt loading should be over the lifespan of infrastructure. And this could be over a 75 year period, not shortened time frames, frames as uh, currently used. Don't sell council assets. For example, keep the ownership of the airport. As I see any short term gain of sale of these sort of assets are only at the expense of future ratepayers. And user levies can often create serious public backlash, resentment, and drive unexpected behaviours. For example, water is a core function of the council. Therefore, using it as a way to raise more rates, I believe, is a very poor idea. One reason for this could be we call ourselves a garden city. We won't be if all the gardens dry up. But an even larger reason is, even though water levies may work in other cities where water is a short supply, it will only enrage the residents of Christchurch as they drive in any direction outside the city limits and you'll see massive irrigators pumping out millions of litres of water for free. In fact, Christchurch has over 65% of the irrigated land in Christchurch, uh, in New Zealand. Um, one reason I believe the public would be so strongly against a water levy, out of a Dairy Link newsletter, I've preside, given these facts, uh, reference papers, the Canterbury farmers use 4.4 billion cubic litres of water a year. From our own Crusher City website, I've worked out the average resident uses 81 cubic metres of water a year. So just pretend that we use this irrigation water for the people of Christchurch, how big a city could we be to use the same amount of water currently used by Canterbury farmers? 4.4 billion divided by 81 gives a population of Christchurch of about 54 million people. So the point of this exercise is not to get at the farmers, but the question is around the logic of why would people of Christchurch pay for a levy for water when there is enough water for free being used outside the city limits to grow Christchurch by 136 times? Why would the council want this battle? In closing, my number one issue is I want chemicals out of, out, like chlorine, out of my water supply. But to use debt funding heavier than previously before and to be brave enough to increase the rates by the level required without fancy accounting or user charges to create a lot more public scrutiny and drive unexpected behaviours. Thank you. Thank you very much. You just covered that off in the, in the time allocated and really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Rosie Belton. 